Okay, very quick preamble, because I hate all the YouTube preamble. Don't forget to subscribe for marketing videos and stuff. And don't forget to check out the podcast, Not Another Marketing Podcast, to go with Not Another Marketing Channel. That's it. Hello, are you feeling productive? Are you feeling really productive? <laughs> You're going to be a little bit more productive by the end of this video, I think. Um, I use Evernote all the time for managing all my projects on my clients, personal life, all sorts of different things. And they've just added a new feature where you can preview spreadsheets within the Evernote note, which is really cool because I have tons of spreadsheets in Evernote with lots of you know, boring data. It might just be like phone numbers or addresses or, uh, I don't know, it might be like columns added up. You know, just spreadsheets. Not the biggest spreadsheet fan, but I get sent lots of spreadsheets. And I've always had to kind of like download the spreadsheet from a client note and then open it up uh, in, I don't know, sheets or something like that uh, to be able to get the data. Well, now you can actually view the spreadsheet inside your Evernote note, which is very cool. Now, this is available in the desktop version of Evernote uh, from version 10.48, and you need to have the professional and Teams plan to be able to access it. Uh, supported files, uh, CSVs, which is really useful because those kind of like if you're in marketing like I am, then you're downloading CSVs all the flipping time. Uh, XLS, XLS, X, <laughs> ODS, XLT, XLT, X. It's like alphabet soup, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, let's let's do a little bit of testing. I wanted to see kind of the capabilities uh, of Evernote uh, in viewing these spreadsheets. So I've made a testing spreadsheet. Oh, very exciting. OK, so what I've done is create uh, a spreadsheet which we can kind of test in Evernote to see uh, the, the kind of functionality of the spreadsheet that you can kind of view in, in Evernote, or is it just a plain text column? So I wanted to kind of like figure out uh, what we could what we could do in, in Evernote with our spreadsheets as such. Um, so what I, what I did was I downloaded some sample data, and I'll leave a link to the website I got the sample data from in the description, so you can you can grab some if you want to. And I downloaded all this sample data. And I created three sheets. So if you look at the bottom of this spreadsheet here, there's three different sheets within the spreadsheet. We've got employer data, I've got a sum column, and I've got a big sheet, a big sheet. OK, so I wanted to see if Evernote supported multiple sheets within a spreadsheet so we can flip between the different ones. So we're going to test that out. OK, uh, this spreadsheet here has, I think, what, 400 and something lines, 474 lines. So, you know, it's not the biggest spreadsheet, but it's not the smallest one. We've also got a, 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 a heading at the top with a highlight colour, you know, the, the row colour. I wanted to see if Evernote picked up on, on that as well, uh, which was useful. So let's go to the sum column. The sum column is, is basically a duplicate of the first sheet. But what I've done is I've added up this column here at the bottom. So there's a sum. And I wanted to see if Evernote picks up on this sum at the bottom. OK, uh, otherwise that is this this sheet is exactly the same as the first one. And then we got the big sheet. Oh, we got a big sheet. We got a big sheet. Yeah. So all I did was I spent like what seemed like most of my life duplicating all this data. And I've got like 5000 something and something lines. I don't know, 5,250 <laughs> lines. So, you know, it's big enough. Yeah. Test bigger if you really want to. I couldn't be bothered. And I've added a bit of formatting to this one as well, because I wanted to see what kind of formatting was displayed in Evernote. So the first line is bold. Line seven uh, has the row color, uh, background color changed. And row 10 has got the font changed there. So what I've done is I've exported this as an XSLX file. Uh, and Microsoft Excel spreadsheet, and I've put it into Evernote. So let's have a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're back in Evernote, uh, and what I'm going to do is we, 
we're going to look at this testing spreadsheet that I made up and, and see what it looks like. I'm going to right click on this one and just shrink it. So viewers attachment, Ooh, clever stuff. And then we're going to right click on this one and view as a preview. You could also get to the viewers preview from here as well. So you can view as attachment or preview if you want to. Oh, something happening, something happening. Aha, there we go. Right, cool. So first thing to notice is that it picks up on the individual sheets across the bottom. Employer data, some column, big sheet. Fabulous. That's useful. OK. It also picks up on the background color uh, of the row at the very top, which again is really useful. And if we scroll down, this is really quick, isn't it? I mean, there's no lag or anything. This is really quick. If we go down, we've got all 474 rows. So that's no problem at all. That looks good. Let's look at the sum column. Click on this one here. Again, we've got the background color at the top. And if we go down to the bottom, remember we, we added up this column here. So we're going to head down, head down, head down, head down, head down, head down. And it comes at the bottom. Right, slight little difference. Right? If we go back to our main spreadsheet and go under sum column and then find the bottom of that spreadsheet, all the way down to the bottom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right. Okay, so we got dollar sign sixteen, comma three one four, comma eight seven five. It's formatted in 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 money, monetary formatting. Uh, if we go back to evidence, it's not. It's just a number. Eh, not the end of the world, but you know, it would be nice if it was the actual same format as as the the spreadsheet itself. Let's look at the big sheet. Big sheet. There we go. OK, let's check that all there. Oh, my God, this is going to take forever, isn't it? So what I did was I copied all of these. So there's 475, 474 rows. And then it starts at one again because I just copied them over and over again. So, yeah, we keep going, we keep going, we keep going. It's done. All 5,000. I did check earlier. <laughs> um, it's quick, isn't it? I mean, there's 5,000 rows in that spreadsheet and it's getting through them really, really quick, which is nice. Um, so let's look at the formatting. We've got the background color at the top. We've got the background color of that row there, which looks good, but we are missing a couple of things. Let's go to our big sheet. So the first line of this was bold and that line there was in a different font color. So back in Evernote, uh, there's no bold and there's no font color. So it's not picking up on the font colors, formatting, things like that. But it is picking up on the background cells, which, to be fair, I think is more important than the formatting, because when you've got a you've got a spreadsheet with a lot of data, you tend to color different rows, different background rows to segment the different types of data. Uh, one thing I will quickly point out is that you can actually uh, copy some of the data from this, from the spreadsheet. So you can double click on one of the cells uh, and then you can copy and then you can paste that data, I don't know, into an email or something like that and it appears, which is which is quite useful. Uh, if you if you select a whole row, right, so if I go and select a whole row of data and copy it and then paste it, it does paste it like so. So each cell is on a different line, which I suppose is not the end of the world. I mean, for me and my use cases, I would probably just be copying data in a single cell, like a telephone number or an email address or I don't know, something like that or a number or something, and then pasting it into an email. So that's cool. But it would be nice to to keep the formatting, I suppose, in a in a in a long line. OK, something else I wanted to kind of try out was to see what this looks like when you actually share a note, because I do a little bit of sharing notes to clients and that. And I want to know whether the client gets to see the preview or the shared notes. So if you get a shareable link and somebody goes to it on the web, can they view that spreadsheet like so? Uh, or do they just have to download it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up to my share button. I'm going to create a shareable link like so, and then I'm going to copy the link like that, and we're going to go to the web browser and paste it in and see what happens. 
So, exciting, exciting, exciting. Ah, no, no preview within the sheet. So what folks can do is they can click on that and download it, uh, but they can't preview the actual spreadsheet within a shared note. I'm not sure whether that's a huge issue or not. Hmm. No, not really. I mean, to be fair, if I'm sharing notes to clients, uh, it tends to include a few videos, maybe a few little walkthroughs, some spreadsheets, PDFs, and folks can just click on them, download them, and then open them up uh, in their computer. So not a, not a huge issue. Right, how would I like to see this kind of taken in the future? I'm not sure I'd like to see much spreadsheet functionality built in. I know there's going to be a lot of folks who are going to be thinking, oh, we want to see charts, we want to see formulas, we want to see all sorts of different things built into this. Ah, I'm, no, I'm not such a such a big fan. I like Evernote because it does what it does, if you know what I mean. I don't think Evernote needs to become a spreadsheet software, right? Um, you'd be able to create formulas and all sorts of things. You know, you've got your spreadsheet thing. It's never going to be able to do it as well as Excel anyway. So, no, I, 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 I'm not too fussed about that. What I would like to see is basic sorting. So being able to sort each columns maybe in, in by date or by uh, A to Z or by numbers or something like that, high, low, low, high, that, that sort of thing. I think that could be quite useful. I'd like to see a little bit more formatting built into it as well. So if you've bolded text and that, uh, the, the bold carries over uh, and different font colours and, and may, maybe follows over. But um, apart from that, this is a pretty cool feature, to be quite honest with you. OK, that's about it. Uh, don't forget to leave your ideas and thoughts in the comments. What do you want to see out of this new feature? Uh, also subscribe as well. You've got to do that. And uh, check out the podcast. It's a marketing podcast called Not Another Marketing Podcast. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, everywhere. I'll leave a bunch of links in the show notes. Uh, thanks for watching.